Well, hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, this is The Kid, and I am bringing you this incredible replay between this Blue Protoss, Star, Star Tales Parting, down here in the bottom right position, well, I guess this would just be the bottom position of Metalopolis, and over here on the left position, or 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, whatever you want to call it, is the man himself, Don Regu. For those of you who don't know, Don Regu just recently won the... MLG cha uh, Spring Championship. He faced off against Alicia after beating Marine King Prime. If you haven't seen those games, stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to do everything I can to bring you those games because all of the Spring of the Spring Championship series was incredible. Seriously, some of the best games I've ever seen in StarCraft 2 were played at the Spring Championship. There were uh, just amazing play everything. So, with that in mind, keep an eye out on these two guys. They're both incredible players, parting, gaining quite a bit of recognition <coughs> as an up-and-coming player. He's done quite a bit in the GSL, and obviously Don Regu having won the GSL at the beginning of this year, and also just doing a lot of uh, a lot of great work in other tournaments. And actually, probably by now considered the best, well, definitely the best Zerg player in my opinion, possibly the best StarCraft II player at this point. So, before, as we get ready for this game, as it gets set up, I'd like to just take a minute. Hopefully, you guys noticed the new video that started out this whole this whole cast. It was put together by a roommate of mine who is studying film and does a lot with video editing and things like that. I thought it was a great video. I really appreciate him doing that. And uh, hopefully it helps you guys keep coming back. I really appreciate any likes that you guys give to my videos. Comments are great. Keep giving me feedback, things that, uh, that I can do better, and I'd really appreciate it. But real quick, let's go ahead and look at this game. Parting actually feeling confident enough uh, that he knows... Don Regu's style that he's going to go Nexus before Forge. Now this is really gutsy. This means that he is very vulnerable to Zergling attacks, but Parting knows Don Regu, you know, just as well as any of us could and knows that Don Regu is not known for his cheese play. He basically never cheeses. I don't want to say never because for those of you who watched MLG, you will remember one game in particular where Don Regu definitely did cheese and it made for an epic game. So Don Regu does look like he is going to send out a couple lings. First off, they're going to take out this uh, this pylon. Now he did make six, which is more than the usual two or four that you would use to get rid of this first pylon. And this makes me think that he will have to try and do some kind of damage with it. Now this is six Zerglings that could have been used to make three drones that could have been used, uh, those minerals could have been used in many ways. So Don Regu is definitely going to need to do something with these links to make this investment worthwhile. Now he did finally drop down this this hatchery. No doubt he will throw down another one. I would imagine this drone is on its way up to this position to throw down a hatchery. And here we go, Don Regu is going to poke in a little bit. This cannon will keep him from doing any run buys and really doing any damage to these probes. But the position of these Zerglings will make it very difficult for Parting to mine off of these mineral patches, which gets very annoying. So he is going to have to Chrono Boost out a Zealot to be able to deal with these Lings, fight them off from this area right here so that he can go ahead and use this, uh, use this base to its fullest extent. And here we go. Don Regu going to go ahead. He sees what's going down right there, and he's going to go ahead and throw down his third base third hatchery and just macro up pretty heavy now parting is going to see that there's no gas and be pretty happy about that that means that speed cannot be on the way there's no roaches he's really not going to be worried about any kind of timing push uh at any time soon i guess and it means that he is pretty safe to go ahead and keep getting probes and go ahead and he's going to get a stargate out possibly get a void ray I don't expect him to get Phoenixes, mainly because Void Rays lately uh, have been shown to be able to do a lot more damage, and especially with all of these um, Overlords out on the map, it's very easy to get that Void Ray out and just go hunting, whereas Phoenixes just don't do quite as much damage. Now, granted, he will probably get some Phoenixes after the Void Rays to help pick up Queens, to help with you know Roaches and things like that. Um, one second, let me go ahead and... Uh, and turn that off. Sorry, I'm a little slow on that. My buddy's a little uh, psyched that he got Diamond 2v2. 
And here we go. Pretty standard play. Don Regu going to go ahead and throw down three gases. So he's probably going to put down his Roach Warren as soon as he gets enough gas for that. And if we look at the income, Don Regu is taking a nice little, you know, seven drone lead over his opponent. That's going to make him pretty comfortable, especially that he is a base up, which will mean that um, his income will be that much greater than Parting's. So. Really, we're just going to see this move into a pretty standard mid-game. Let's go back to the production tab. Here's the Void Ray I was talking about. These two, uh, these two units, the Stalker and Zealot, going to you know push around, see if they can find any uh, Zerglings on the Watchtowers, do any kind of damage that they might be able to, especially since these Lings are slow. A Zealot and a Stalker can very easily take out all five of those. The Stalker with some good Stutter Step Micro, and the Zealot just tanking any damage. And look at this, here we go. This Void Ray is going to just go on sort of a war path. Already has one Overlord kill. And now he's got this Phoenix out. This Phoenix can give him some great map, uh, map control. Well, not necessarily map control, but will help him to be able to see what's going on on the map. He'll be able to check out bases, possibly help pick off some Overlords here and there. But uh, really not that much damage, so much as just keeping an eye open on the map. And while this is going on, Don Regu is going to go ahead and move up to his lair tech and throw down a spore crawler here. Probably one at his third. Yeah, here we go. Throwing one down there. And his bases are going to be very well protected from any kind of air. Even throwing up additional queens at both of these for that DPS. He really doesn't want to lose to any kind of cheesy stuff. Which, Zerg players are becoming better and better at dealing with this anti -air, with this air harassment. Queens are incredibly good, especially if you just have them backed up by one Spore Crawler. It really becomes difficult for Protoss Air to do anything against that. And here we have, we have plus one ground armor for the Zerg player coming in, plus burrow and speed, so he's probably going to commit quite a bit to... To Roach play, Roach is of course very strong against the uh, against most of the early Protoss units. Now, he only has one e one evolution chamber. It is working on armor, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him throw down another one. Really, especially if you're going to commit to this kind of play at this point in the game, it is very very helpful to get that second evolution chamber because upgrades, especially at this phase of play, are so key. And look at this, Parting getting ready for a huge push. That is a ton of sentries, nine sentries. That's a lot of gas he's been stockpiling right here. That means he needs to be very careful not to lose these. He'll want to really make sure that Zerglings can't get surrounds Don, because this army very, very vulnerable to Zerglings surrounds. It would be good for him to hug this wall very closely. And he is putting up his uh, Twilight Council right now, so possibly we'll see him go for Blink to really help him uh, keep his units alive. And here we go, lifting up the three queens. Huge play. This is going to stop them from taking out this Void Ray and taking out these Phoenixes and just make Parting's army that much more dangerous. Now, thankfully for Don Regu, he does have Burrow, which is going to make it so that he is much better equipped to deal with those air units. This and by that I mean he just won't take as much damage. He can burrow his units to get them out of range of that Void Ray. And losing that Void Ray, kind of a bad move by Parting. I don't think that was something he wanted at all. That Void Ray is something that you can definitely use for the entire game. It's kind of like Banshees for Terran players. You don't want to just throw them away because their DPS is good enough that they will always be helpful. You know, they're great for picking off roaches while you, from uh, behind force field lines and all that. I don't know if Don Regu wants to fight here. These sentries have quite a bit of energy. Well, now they don't. But they have enough energy to do exactly this. To cut his army in half. To really stop him from reinforcing and all of those things. And this army, with those sentries, is getting really tough. Is going to be really tough to deal with. Don Regu needs to get rid of these sentries. They're basically the arch nemesis of roaches, in my opinion. Because of these sentries... The Stalker having two more range than those Roaches becomes that much more lethal and that much harder to deal with. Now Don Regu going to go ahead feel confident enough in his, uh, in his current position in this game to throw down a fourth hatchery. And then go ahead and get a macro hatch in his base. And he is throwing a Spire up. And look at this. He has 1,500 gas stockpiled up. That means as soon as the Spire pops, he can get a ton of mutilus and as I would imagine as we watch this uh, this uh, production bar we'll see a lot pop in here pretty soon 
Interestingly enough, he's getting a second spire. So Don Regu kind of investing in the long in the long game. In the late game, he wants to get those double upgrades going for his mutilus, probably go up to Broodlord sooner or later. And trying his best to keep to slow down Parting's macro, which he did for quite a while with this third base. However, Parting is 1-1. One, one. These roaches are only one armor. Which is going to give Parting a little bit of an edge. Now, the key for Don Regu is going to be to do as much economic damage as possible with these Mutas. And doing a huge run by right here. Probably going to force the cancel on this Nexus. That is definitely going to. And that is huge for Don Regu. This is going to slow down the Protoss third so much. Nexus feel like they take an eternity to build. And that is just going to be incredibly obnoxious to deal with. So Don Regu definitely putting himself in a great position right now. Definitely giving himself something to work with. Now, he doesn't want to throw these roaches away. And a great blink by parting. Going to go ahead and pick off as many of those roaches as he can with that blink. And that's exactly what he needs to do. I mean, he just needs to keep himself in positions where he can defend all of these bases as well as possible. Typically around here so that he can get to this base quickly. I wouldn't be surprised to see him wall this off with gateways and keep these cannons in the back. And here we go. Here are those mutilists by Dong Regu. And this is what he needs to do. He needs to do a lot of economic damage to parting. And for all of you Zerg players out there, this is a great tactic to do. Basically, Don Regu has opened up two tech paths for himself. He's given himself mutas so that he can really bypass all of any defenses right here and really pick off these sentries. And he's kept himself with these robust roaches, which he obviously actually doesn't have very much of right now, which could make this push incredibly dangerous. And he does, and Parting does have Blink, which it means that he can very easily pop up on this hill with Blink and just cut off the entrance right there with, oh my gosh, with force fields. And Parting doing a brilliant job right now. He's going to, I can, I guarantee he's going to blink up and look at that, throwing down the force field. This basically gives him all the, all the map control he needs is just this little area right here. He can do whatever he wants from this. And look at that. Even blinking down to get a good hit on these Mutalisks. And Don Regu looking like he's in a lot of trouble right now. Parting has a good enough eco economy that he can keep reinforcing this. And look at this. These stalkers are going to focus down this macro hatch. Possibly even be able to work their way to that lair, which is going to be extremely dangerous. And look at that blink. A beautiful blink by Parting getting right underneath those mutilists and doing maximum damage and now we're going to see him blink right back down here this is how you use the map to your advantage protoss players find any opportunity you can to do this parting is making sure that surrounds cannot happen he's making sure that the roaches can't always follow him that he always has the range advantage um just beautifully making sure that there's as little surface area as possible for ling surrounds all of that this is definitely something you want to pay attention to as a Protoss player. Even with... <coughs> Sorry about <coughs> Sorry about that. Bless me. Uh, even with those Mutalists, he can blink around as much as he wants and keep this base under wraps for the Zerg player. And really, there's not a whole lot Don Regu can do about this. He needs to just try his best to whittle these down but this blink micro is keeping all of these weak stalkers in the back and all of these healthy full shield stalkers in the front it does look like Don Regu might possibly clean this up but all oh, the stalkers become too much and that blink micro is just destroying Don Regu right now and it looks like it's parting has finally taken the supply lead and I really don't know what Don Regu can do about this he's very far down in supply if we look at the income he is ahead but at the same time he's not doing a lot of efficient mining and there's the gg what an amazing game i definitely thought there were times when don regu was really far ahead but this push by parting was so lethal guys stay tuned for the rest of the games in this series and i'll see you guys next time